I'm going to show you the process of patterning in um, Fusion 360. This is a little project with the uh, a wheels of a Formula One car. So um, if I look up my parts list, our, our fi final um, assembly is going to be a little toy car. Um, I want you to be creative with your wheels and um, patterning is a good thing to be able to do with, with this. First thing I'm going to do is open a new part. So you can see that um, it's a new untitled part. I'm going to save this part. I uh, always save to start with. So um, I'm going to put it in my project folder. We want all our components to end up in our project folder. So I'm saving this one to here, 8, 2020, and I'm going to save it as will. We only need to make one will, and we're going to duplicate it four times. So we only have to do this once. You might want to give it a go a couple of times um, and choose your best one to duplicate four times. Working from the plan, we're going to start um, with this, um, this outer size. So we're going to draw the first one, um, 34, and we're going to go 26 um, as the extrusion. So circle 34, 26 for the extrusion. Create sketch. Select the front plane. Circle a sketch from the center of the origin. We're going to put the dimension on 34. I'm going to finish that sketch. I'm going to extrude that 26. So we've got our outer side of our wheel. Looking back at the plan, the next thing we're doing is a um, 22 millimeter hole and it's going to be extruded 11 in. You can see the dashes on this. Um, that shows there's a hidden detail. So this is the front view, this is the top view, um, and it's 11 millimeters in. So 22 and 11. So start sketch, sketch on that panel. We're going to get to a circle, 22. You might need to use a dimension tool or double click back on there to change it. Finish sketch, extrude, click on the profile, it's going to be minus 11. The last thing is to do the hole in the middle, so click that. Um, click the start sketch button. It's a six millimeter hole, so circle, click the origin, and we're going to make that six mil. If it doesn't enter the right um, number, double click it, press six again, and it should should enter. Okay. I'm going to extrude that. So it's a series of sketches and extrusions to get to this point. I accidentally added a new sketch there, so I clicked the wrong button. Um, if this happens to you, you have to be very careful because it's added another sketch here and it can get very confusing. So I'm going to finish that sketch. I'm going to come down and I'm going to delete the sketch here. So I don't want duplicates of sketches that haven't been made into extrusions. I'll talk about that in a second again, but let's get this one done. So extrude, click that one. I'm going to pull it through. And we're going to change the extent where it says distance here. Um, to object and we're going to click that surface. So we've got the majority of the wheel done. So just looking back we've got the first sketch and we've got the extrusion, we've got the second sketch and the cutaway and then the next sketch and the cutaway as well. If I press the play button down here you can see the progression of my design. Last um, thing to do before we get to making a bit more of a pattern out of this, we're going to put the radiuses on the front and the back edge at two millimeters. So if I click um, modify, fill it, I'm going to click the front edge and the back edge, and I'm going to select two millimeters. That makes it kind of look more wheel like on the edges. So this is the interesting part. Um, we can make this a little bit unique now. We're going to click this surface and we're going to draw a pattern. So we've got to think about spoke designs and what it would look like as a car. Essentially, I can draw any shape in here. So um, we'd leave a little bit of material here. So um, I'm going to do a circle and then a construction line. And we don't want to go right the whole way to this surface. We want to go a little bit bigger. And then we don't want to go the whole way to the end either. So we want to be working between those lines. Um, I'm not too fussed what size it is, but we could probably like put a measurement in here and say 
um, between 2 mil and 1 mil maybe. The pattern wants to be between there. You could go down to 1. That could look cool. Let's have it play and see what it's um, going to look like. So, um, tick, un unselect, deselect um, construction. And I'm going to do a line here. So, um, I'm going to do something really random just to show you that it can work even if you don't put much thought into this. So, I'm going to do that. I haven't really thought about this, so it's just a completely random shape. Um, make sure they're all kind of connected together so I can see it's a profile, finish sketch, extrude, and then click your profile, and then remove them to a right through to the back. So I didn't quite get to the back there. If you have the same problem, double click your, your sketch, and you might change that extent to all. That way we know that it goes through the whole way. Now what I can do is I can pattern. So I've got this extrusion. And what I want to do is I want to pattern around the, um, the feature. So, sorry I got distracted, but um, we're, we're patterning this. So um, I'll continue where I was. Um, we've got the feature already down here. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate that feature. So up in Create, there is a feature called Pattern. We're going to go Circular Pattern, and then from Circular Pattern, we've all already selected the feature, which is this. Um, the axis can be any circle that's on this, um, this part. Once you've selected both of them, you can do the amount that you want and click OK. So you can see I've kind of created a a bit of a different type of design. If I want to add some more features to this, I can click the surface again, create another sketch. I can draw anything that I want on here. Maybe let's have a look at what other kind of designs there are. So this is called a polygon. I might want to put one of them there. Finish sketch, extrude. We can click this one here. And we'll pull that one downwards. We might not go through the whole way this time. Well, how about we go up? We might want to click this one and draw another sketch on top of that. It's a bit hard to get the middle. I could do that with a construction line, but just for the sake of what we're doing, we're just trying to make this look artistic. So that'll be close enough for this one. And then I might want to pattern that the same amount of time. So if I come in and go create circular pattern, we'll change this to feature. We want to select both of the features. So you can do that up here, or you can do it down here. We're going to go axis, and we want to revolve it around anything that's circular. We want to choose the same amount of pieces, which was five. Click OK, and that's rotated around that. Now, I don't really like my design, but you can have a bit of a play with um, being creative, make them look as well, um, kind of realistic for a will as possible. I'm just going to do another demonstration. So I've drawn another sketch. We'll see if this one works out any better. So this is just me problem solving, having a bit of a play with different ideas. I haven't fully constrained the sketch, so I mean, you probably would want to put some measurements on it to lock, lock it in and make sure it's all even, but I'm trying to do a quick demonstration. So. Um, I've got that kind of V drawn up with some um, construction lines. I've got my profile. I'm going to go extrude and I'm going to click this one. Now, there's one more feature here with the extrusions, which we haven't really talked about. You can do a, um, a taper angle. So say if I put um, 20 degrees in here and then I cut inwards, um, I'm going to change it to minus 20. You can see that it kind of tapers in to a point, so you have to kind of stop before it goes too far in. But um, if I click OK on that, you can see it kind of tapers in like a, a cool little V. Um, let's see if I can rotate that pattern. So um, create pattern, circular pattern, and select the feature. We're going to revolve the feature around a object. I'm going to pattern this quite a few more times than the last one. 
think 9 looks quite good for this, this design and you've kind of got a cool rim design. You might also want to put a chamfer on a couple of pieces here, so create, sorry, modify, chamfer. Um, I'm going to click chamfer on this one, this one, and this one. Let's just try one millimetre to start with. Might be a little bit too much, so maybe 0 0.6. Um, for this project, it's just making them look cool. Um, we might want to do, we might want to um, kind of, uh, just keep playing until it looks as cool as possible, but um, don't worry too much about being technical. 3D printing, um, if you were to 3D print this, these parts are going to be really small, so you'd want to keep it fairly simple, but if you're just doing a rendering or you're making it look nice on screen, um, you can be as creative as possible at this point. Hope that helps you decide on your wheels. Um, give it a go, be creative.